Hi guys, it's May 6, 2015. I just spent about two hours reading so many pages and editing them and I was going to put up a video and then it just got too long and I know the shorter the video the better because people don't have time. So I will link below to this document. It is 51 pages. It's the Aquarius Group Operation Briefing that I mentioned in my video that I last posted that I was going to do a video on. It is about mind control operations of the Aquarius group. And the Aquarius group operations is the primary control group of mind control procedures and similar to Majestic 12, the Aquarius group is a secret committee of scientists, military leaders, government officials, and are many of the same corporate agencies involved in the NASA war plan. If you don't know what the NASA war plan is, I'm here on StopTheCrime.net. Come over here, put it in the search bar, and you will find it. It's another fabulous document. But the good thing about StopTheCrime.net is that they put up these PDFs of government and military documents that reveal a whole lot of information about what they are doing to us and what they are doing currently and also what they were doing, you know, in the past. But StopTheCrime.net lifts important excerpts from the documents and puts them up front because many of these documents are very long and not very many people have a lot of time today. So, for example, page one, electromagnetic radio wave microwave pulse mind warfare has great advantages in that a desired subject or population has no knowledge of the procedure being implemented. Great. And I read in my last video, on page two of this document, it states chemical and polypharmaceutical saturation has been achieved over the past 20 years of implementation for this purpose in mind, the purpose of mind control, and is achieved by deliberate overt introduction through exposure or consumption on behalf of the population base in everyday usage of public water supplies, airborne pollutants, and chemical agents in a wide variety of foodstuffs. And this is actually a really interesting read. I did read all 51 pages. Um, they have actual case scenarios of uh, the CIA using mind control on ordinary citizens, but also Sirhan Sirhan. Lots of details on that case, Sirhan Sirhan, and the uh, Robert F. Kennedy assassination. Jonestown CIA operation. But again, you can come over here and read it. I just want to cut to the chase. To the most important thing that is really affecting a whole lot of people today. And this is it. Through the ignorance of the general population of the world, the cellular wave frequency communications facilities may be erected and utilized by the intelligence community to sedate, excite, or initiate a variety of physical effects and ills to implement population control or elimination at the time it is deemed necessary. Do you want to see what the cellular wave frequency communications looks like? Oh, look at that. See these? around your neighborhoods? Cell phone towers. Cell phone towers are weapons of war. War is not coming. War is already here. It's been declared. It was commenced a really long time ago against the American people. And I sure wish that they would begin to wake up. But unfortunately, I think the mind control has been a huge success. And that is something that we're all facing. So, where was I? Yes, through the ignorance of the general population of the world, the cellular wave frequency communications facilities have already been erected and they're being utilized by the intelligence community to sedate, excite, or initiate a variety of physical effects and ills 
to implement population control or elimination at the time it is deemed necessary. And the research that I did years ago, I learned that these towers can actually kill in an instant within a 40 mile radius everyone within that radius. But when we look at these cell phone towers and how loaded they are with instruments, I'm sure that they can now kill even outside that 40 mile radius. Individuals who have implemented, this is very interesting, so for all of you pot smokers, you guys have been lucky. Individuals who have implemented proper meditation methods and training are more difficult to allocate. Individuals who have access to or regularly use marijuana or opiates on any regular basis also represent a problem in control and manipulation. This is due to the reaction and stimulus in the human brain that occurs with the use of these substances which provides an immunity of sorts to these operation techniques. The federal agencies attempts to eradicate this problem in its war on drugs is having some success. Well, actually, I should have. Let me correct what I had said about you guys being lucky. You were lucky then. You're not lucky now because, well, they've uh, actually kind of corrected that. The federal agency's attempts to eradicate this problem in its war on drugs is having some success in supply rates of marijuana and opiates. You do know that the CIA and our government pretty much supplies all the drugs, all of the illicit, illegal drugs. It is quite true. The cocaine, marijuana. So if they found that marijuana was inhibiting their uh, use of the frequencies to mind control that po population, well, they fixed it. It is interesting that the so-called drug war has had little effect on the supply of cocaine and meth amphetamines as these can only enhance the effects of the manipulation instead of decreasing it as opiates will. However, complete control of the distribution of all undesirable drugs for use in general public population bases cannot currently be completely eradicated. Chemical control bases in public population will be present in 95% of the population base. Those individuals who may not be affected by frequency control due to the usage of certain drugs will most likely negate their immunity with the chemical base they have built up over the years in their everyday use and exposure to those agents on the CBCB, the chemical and biological control base. They have been putting chemicals in the water and in our food so that you're no longer immune to being affected by the frequencies. With a general ignorance through arrogance of most public population in the United States, the erection of large cellular towers being carried out under high tone and xeno are largely going completely unnoticed. And they still are, even though they're all over the place. We are littered with cell towers. Some two, three, four back to back, or across the street from one another. You see them all over shopping centers. They're around Walmarts. They're all over the country. And, you know, at this point, if people still don't believe after what I am reading, I, I just, well, then you really need to look at yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, am I under mind control? These projects are being carried out in private business capacities and therefore in deep black operations cover. However, public populations would be wise to educate themselves in the construction of these seemingly innocent towers in large population areas. The cellular 800 megahertz waves are a constant wave. Due to the great proliferation of towers in key population areas, they will have a devastating effect when utilized by Aquarius group operations if the condition persists. 
There is another method that I'm going to be just jumping over, but all of these methods have been or are currently being used by military intelligence groups to affect mind control. The agencies which utilized and still utilize these methods are most notably the CIA and the Office of Naval Intelligence. And the largest of these mind control programs under the auspices of the CIA, ONA, and the National Security Agency are as follows. MK Ultra, MK Draco, Abductions, Hatter, Reach, Bluebird, Artichoke, MK Zeno, Dancer, Watchtower. I'm going to end with a couple of more paragraphs. And as I read, think about what is currently happening today. Think about all of the violence that we're seeing. Think about what's happening in Baltimore. Think about what happened in Boston with the Boston Marathon bombing. Think about all of the murder suicides. Think about all of these people who suddenly snap and are going to their schools or going to their offices and shooting people up and then turning the gun on themselves and killing themselves. It's all the frequencies. It's all this mind control programming. To conclude this outline, briefing is an overview of mind control programs which have been successful in the past and are currently underway. The operative must be aware of the impact and implications of this method of PSYOP warfare. Aquarius group operations as part of a current agenda, has been very successful under projects REACH and Belfry in programming and queuing selected individuals who have, in turn, carried out program procedures and opened fire on other civilians in public areas all across the United States. It is part of Aquarius operations to bring this about in more of a repetitive pattern over a period of many years in order to increase the callous disregard for human life by others who reside in high population density zones. And that's exactly what we're seeing. These incidents of violence and gun shootings are becoming a repetitive pattern. Especially targeted are large urban areas where street gangs are prevalent. We see the street gangs in Baltimore. In the overall scenario of senseless and unprovoked killings increasing as time passes, the Aquarius operation feels they will eventually condition the public to welcome the eventual confiscation of firearms. It's all deliberate. Setting of curfews, Baltimore, mandatory barcode IDs which will be subdermally inserted and general areas of martial law. Boston. It is felt among many that the erosion of constitutional rights will be readily accepted by the majority in return for government promises of elimination of gang killings, mass killings by lone gunmen, and termination of drug trafficking in all areas. Project Watchtower, Poppy, and Ultra will then also play important roles in sedation of the population through various chemical, biological, and radio frequency manipulation in order to achieve the overall goal of a one world ruling structure by the year 2000 to 2003. Okay, they're a little bit late, but we are seeing all of this take place right now. It also mentions the new world religion. All right, guys. Stay safe. Please circulate this information. Wouldn't it be fabulous if we could just, you know, hand this to those Americans who are still uh, so, I guess, under mind control, still completely and utterly brainwashed to think that our government is going to protect us. They're going to be protected by a government that is so obviously filled with domestic enemies and destroying us. It's very sad. It's 
very hard to see what's happening today. Ciao, guys.